The FBI raided the offices of President Trump's longtime personal attorney, Michael Cohen, today, reportedly seizing multiple documents. That story first reported by the New York Times. Angelica Alvarez has the latest for us tonight from FBI headquarters in Washington. President Trump weighed in on the FBI raid of the New York office and residence of his longtime attorney, Michael Cohen, late Monday, calling the decision a witch hunt. They broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys, good man, and uh, it's a disgraceful situation. Federal investigators carried out the raids as part of a referral by the Office of Special Counsel Robert Mueller. A person familiar with the matter confirmed to CBS News agents seized documents and other materials, including communications with the president. In a statement, Cohen's attorney called the warrants authorizing the raid completely inappropriate and unnecessary. CBS News has also learned evidence seized in the investigation could be related to possible campaign finance violations and fraudulent business activity. Cohen has admitted to paying adult film actress Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep quiet about an affair with President Trump in 2006. She talked about her alleged affair with the president in a 60 Minutes interview with Anderson Cooper. I guess I'm not 100% sure on why you're doing this because it was very important to me to be able to defend myself. Just last week, the president denied knowing about the agreement Cohen negotiated with Daniels aboard Air Force One. Why did Michael Cohen make this if there was no truth around the game? Well, you have to ask Michael Cohen. Michael's my attorney, and you'll have to ask Michael. Over the years, Cohen has been one of the president's most trusted legal and business advisors. Angelica Alvarez, CBS News, FBI headquarters in Washington. And the FBI also reportedly seized emails, tax documents, and business records from Cohen.